silver. What do you guys think of when you think of the colour silver? Two things come to my mind. One is jewellery, and that's because I actually prefer silver jewellery to gold jewellery. And two is this very chair. Now, some may call this grey, some may call this silver, but because it has that kind of sheen to it, we're going to go with silver. But what animal is featuring for today's video? It is only one species, but we have two of the animal, and these ones I have truly fell in love with. Okay, so here is our enclosure set up for our one and only species that comes in the silver colour. So we have two of this species, but it is only one species. So what do you think will go into this setup? Let's take a look. So on here it says silver. So you're probably wondering, what on earth is that? Silver times by two. <laughs> it's not very helpful, is it? But they're actually the Spirotreptida, I could have said that wrong, Spirotreptida, species silver. I'm not very good with the pronunciation when it comes to millipedes. So as you can see, we have two here and they are stunning. These have now become my favourite species of millipede I have ever owned in my life. And it has been a few weeks now before I have done this voiceover and they are still by far my favourite. So they have come in this striking silver colour. One is a lighter silver, the other slightly darker. This one does have some damage to it. I'm not sure how that happened, uh, whether it was nibbled on or it's gone against a heat source or something, but it seems perfectly fine. So they have beautiful red legs and red antenna, but the rest of them is that striking silver coloration. Now you always want to wash your hands before and after dealing with millipedes. So this is a non-described species of millipede, so there isn't a lot of information about them out there. Taxonomically speaking, we don't know exactly what type of millipede this is. And that's why it comes with the S species, uh, silver. All we've got is the coloration. But I bought these from the spider shop. So let's go off of their information. So apparently, according to those guys, the origin of this particular species of millipede is Indonesia. And they're kept at their temperatures around 20 to 22 C with a 70 to 80% humidity. Before we continue this video, did you know that Bug Realms is affiliated with the spider shop? So when you next need a stunning new tarantula, some healthy live food, well needed equipment, or just in the market for something unusual, please head over to the spider shop via my personal and unique link in the description below. This won't cost you anything extra, but it gives me a little back in return for your loyalty. Thanks guys, now back to the video. It also says that they are easy to care for on the website, but I think that's just placed under millipedes in general. Um, some species are more complicated than others, and being a species we know very little about, who knows? But I can tell you, as I said, it's been a few weeks since this recording and they're still doing fine. So what I've put in their setup is a nice, beautiful, rich substrate. It's full of uh, mosses, a calcium source, a little bit of carbon, it's a uh, topsoil base. It has lots of rotten white wood in there and leaf litter mixed into the substrate as well as placed on the top. And look at his butt. There's a little red butt too. So here's the darker specimen and this one has some red markings along it too. Can you spot them? Just along the top in the right light. Really, really interesting and I want to get more of these. Uh, since having these two, I'm just like, wow, I want a full breeding colony of these going. See if we can get some light ones like this or darker ones like the other one. You guys let me know what you think of this species now that you have seen it. I also like between each plate along their back had that almost bluish tone, as you can see here as well. It goes kind of darker, lighter, richer, and then back to darker, lighter, richer again. I just think it's an absolutely beautiful animal. 
and I could not believe how quickly I fell in love with it. You see, the millipedes were actually a part of Danielle's order, and I want to say thank you to one of my uh, Disciples of the Realm, Bobby, for actually funding us to have some additional millipedes for this series. If it were not for you, Bobby, Danielle could have not have had some of her millipedes. So, yeah, they were initially bought for Danielle, but these two, they're definitely mine. I absolutely adore them. So I think we're just going to have to keep an eye on these guys over time, and I'll let you know if I spot um, any signs of babies. Now, these two will not breed with each other. Um, I sex them both to be female, so you can sex a millipede by looking underneath it and seeing if there are any gonopods there, it will be in a gap between the legs on around about the seventh segment and these had no gap on either so they're both female but that's not to say they won't have babies i'm pretty sure when they're kept at tss at the spider shop they're likely kept all together meaning that as long as they had some males in their shipment when they've been keeping them together they may well have already paired in which case i'm hoping they will have some babies but as i said at some point i will get more of these um, in the in the hopes of getting a male for more chance of having babies. Now, my knowledge of millipedes is still reasonably low, so if anyone could answer a question for me in the comments, do millipedes need to continuously mate per brood, or do they just mate once and they are mated for life, they are fertile for life? If someone could answer me that in the comments below, that would be great. So we're coming to an end of the footage of these awesome guys, but I hope you really enjoyed seeing them. I just, I can't even express enough how much I love these guys. Thank you for watching this footage on Silver. So what did you guys think of those millipedes? Oh my God, are they not amazing? Now it's been a few weeks, they are still alive, they are still doing well, and I really want to get more. But I am in a situation right now. You see, at the time of recording this, I actually had a discussion with Danielle about seeing if we can put a bit of money aside to attend the, um, which show is it? Southern show, the Southern Invert show in Brighton. Now I can't tell you straight off the bat right now whether we will or won't attend, but if we do decide to attend, I'm gonna have to not purchase more animals for a while to save up the hotels in brighton are not cheap and the travel whether it'll be fuel costs or train is also not going to be too cheap either and we may not have a lot of spending money i have three birthdays in november to deal with and i have christmas well on the way so i'll let you guys know nearer the time whether i'm going to attend that show if you are going to attend that show yourselves please let me know in the comments below Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.